Hi, I'm Terry Quinton. I'm here with Senator Royce West, and we're interviewing him about doing Texas, doing business Texas style. Senator West, we're happy to have you here and know you have a busy schedule. You partnered with the Dallas-Fort Worth Minority Supplier Development Council, a mouthful. That's exactly right. To bring the spot bid here. Right to make an economic impact. Can you tell us a little bit why you chose the council to work with? Well, a couple of, th a couple of things. Yeah. From the very beginning, when I, when I first ran for senator, I said one of the issues I want to deal with is economic development. And so I, I needed to find a way to bring state agencies and contractors in my district and North Central Texas together. And so this particular organization has been in existence for I don't know how many years and obviously has a great reputation. So I thought partnering with this particular organization was in the best interest of me accomplishing the goals that I set for myself. Fantastic. Now last year in 2015 you did a record number, the hub coordinators did a record number 2.6 million dollars. 2.6 million. That's just right. a day and a half. So right. what's your goal this year? My goal is three million dollars this year, at least three million. You know ultimately I'd like to see us getting to a point where on a consistent basis we're doing about 10 million dollars in these two days that we uh, have this particular spot bid fair. Wonderful. So can you tell us what you what advice would you give all these corporations who are trying to do business with minority owned businesses? Well, I mean if, if they're actually trying, I'm, yeah. the, the number one, if you look at your uh, organization, find out whether your organization is reflective of who you're trying to do business with. And if you find that your organization is all Anglo men, then and then you're doing business with all Anglo men, that tells you something. Uh, the, what you need to do is making certain that you have a diverse uh, pool of persons that are working for you in, in strategic positions that look like America, not just one segment of America. And by doing that, you'll begin to see that your company will be coming into the 21st century that is doing business with people uh, from across the spectrum, be it African American, Asians, women, Latinos, et cetera, et cetera. So as a small business owner myself, what advice would you give us for coming to this uh, spot bit fair? Well, you got to go fishing where there fish, yeah. okay? If you decide that you want to catch fish, then you got to go fishing where there fish. This particular spot bit fair is where you need to be. This is, the, this is the pond, this is the lake, this is the ocean that you need to be fishing in in order to see whether or not you can catch something. And more likely than not, you may not, you may not catch something the first time around, but if you keep coming back and know what type of, of bait to use, you're going to be successful. Wonderful. Now, um, the hub coordinators, you've got a number of them here. How many? How Out, many? I mean, there's over 80 agencies here, Wonderful. which is a record within itself. Yes. Uh, we need to make certain that every agency that has significant dollars to spend is a part of this. And that's my goal, to make certain that they're a part of it and not only come up and give lip service, but to bring uh, some contracts. As an example, I mean, I had to get on Texas A&M today. Uh, the reality is Texas A&M, they bring one of the largest universities, over 50,000 students, uh, sure. spend millions of dollars. They get the opportunity to be a part of the Permanent University Fund, millions of dollars. They bring a thousand dollars in a contracts. Thousand. Wow. Today. Wow. And, you know, I started to say, why don't you just get out of here? <laughs> but I called the president, he got on the telephone and said, Senator West, I will not embarrass you. That's embarrassing to me. That's not good faith at all. And the, there's a new president down there, and he said, Senator, that won't happen again. And so I'm holding to it. And one last question. So every year or every other year, the uh, council brings minority businesses down to the state capitol to meet you and, and the other folks on the other side who don't know much about minority inclusion. What advice would you give us the next time, because we're scheduled to come next year, to be prepared? Well, I, this is what I'd say, Terry. Small businesses need to know this, that business is politics, and politics is business, Right. okay? And right. if you understand that and appreciate that, then you know it's important that you show up at the Capitol. Everyone else is showing up mm -hmm. at the Capitol. You think they're just going down there just to be going down there? No. When you have uh, over a billion dollar budget, people are trying to make certain that whatever issues that they have and need to be funded, that they're being funded. And so you know that, in part, it's being able to influence budget writers in terms of how money's being spent. And so if businesses really want to participate, they need to come down to Austin, make sure their voice is heard, and in addition, make certain that they become a part of an organization that funds 
a person that's down there on a continuous basis right. looking for opportunities for your businesses. Well, thank you so much for your time. And again, this is Senator Royce West doing business Texas style, spot bid fair and seminars. And we thank you for your time. But more importantly, we thank you for this spot bid fair. Thank you, Terry.